Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Uh, today I wanted to just share with you a small haul of some makeup that I recently purchased. Um, I know I've mentioned before in like my favorites video um, how I don't really have a lot of makeup tutorials. I really want to start doing more makeup tutorials to share with you so any suggestions or anything that you all would like to see just make sure that you leave me a comment below um, I mentioned this in my end of the year favorites for 2014 how I'm I was a Mac chick for eyeshadows because I love their eyeshadows the pigments everything it I just love their eyeshadows because for me they stay on all day and that's one thing I never really mixed was my eyeshadows now I love different kind of foundations not just MAC but I like L'Oreal I like um L'Oreal true match I'm really really feeling that one um Revlon color stay um, I some MAC fun uh, foundations I do like um, so I would dibble and dabble in like my condition, my concealers, my foundations, my um, contouring, my eyebrows, like everything isn't MAC, but all of my eyeshadows were literally MAC. And I have a couple tutorials um, that I have, but like my first two tutorials is like all MAC makeup. So I wanted to diversify myself because I've tried other makeup before, it just didn't last and I'm just exploring coming out of my comfort zone because you know it's more to the beauty industry than just the MAC makeup so I wanted to explore and try different makeups so I did purchase the chocolate bar um, this is the slimmer package it's not the newest one that's out I did purchase this back in November of 2014 so I just recently purchased this back in November, but I am just now using it. Again, baby steps, trying to try other makeup. And I must say that I absolutely love this palette. All of my eyeshadow today is from this palette. Typically, I would mix and match my eyeshadows. Like if I try other eyeshadow, I, I still have on a MAC eyeshadow. You know, like if I try a different palette, I'm still using... I may use different colors from different palettes and that's okay but for this particular bar this chocolate bar every single color that I have on my eyes is from this palette so I'm absolutely loving this palette right now so um, in this palette is the different colors and it has the name of the colors but this palette seriously but this palette right here seriously is the bomb.com I'm like oh my G-O-S-H I really really like this palette because everything is awesome in this palette <laughs> and with this palette it comes with um, some suggestions of what you can do it's different colors that you can put together um, and I just mixed it per my skin tone. I didn't even I didn't follow this But it is a good starting point Especially if you're not used to doing your makeup or if you wanted to try some new things or get idea colors There's nothing wrong with taking a look at what they already have available for you to show you how to use this palette as well but this right here is starting to be my number one stunner. so this palette was about probably $54 so this was a splurge but it's worth every penny another brand that I'm going to be trying is BH Cosmetics so I did listen to all of your suggestions and many of you kept saying BH Cosmetics BH Cosmetics BH Cosmetics so I am trying a few palettes from BH Cosmetics the first one is called Wild at Heart and I love this palette because of the colors and spring is coming up and you can do this with fall they're so vibrant so um and I did try a few of these and they did last and stay on like many of you suggested that it would so I'm absolutely loving this palette as well this purple is so vibrant see that see that purple very pretty and I've tried this pink which is very vibrant as well I'll do a swatch for you just those two alone like it's really really vibrant I haven't tried this palette but this one is called wild child It's by BH cosmetics and these are the colors and I thought they were just really really fun 
This one is really like calm, cool, and collective, I would say. It's a pretty purple. It's like a peach color. It's more like earthy tone colors. I mean, absolutely just really, really pretty. I really like this low-key purple right here. So I'm going to swatch that for you. So that's right here. Just very pretty. I like this orangey color. This peachy kind of color. I cannot wait to try that. And that's right there. So these are all lovely, vibrant colors, and I can't wait to do a tutorial for you guys on those. Another palette that I did get from BH Cosmetics, um, and this one is li literally like, you know, it reminds me of like jungle, um, like rainforesty kind of colors. You have your, um, it looks like a mermaid color right here. Hunter green. It's like an olive green color. Olive green color, like a copper color, a pretty brown. This seems such, it's such a pretty green color. Such a pretty green color. So I'll swatch that for you. Look how vibrant that is. And it's a blue, this blue. I haven't done a blue makeup look really, but even like the blue. So these colors are really, really nice. Okay, so that is BH Cosmetics, so I can't wait to do tutorials just on those. And um, what I love about the BH Cosmetic line is that it is very affordable. So I think these palettes were probably like $7 each, $7 or $8 each. So it's definitely affordable and you can start building a collection um, with them, depending on what your budget is like, depending on what you can afford. Um, affordable makeup that definitely has the pigmentation. And I'm not sure if it lasts all day, but I'll definitely be trying it out to see. A little cheap palette that I bought probably around Christmas time was this Wet n Wild. I love glitter makeup. Um, sometimes I want to wear it under my eyes or on my um, eye line, on my waterline, or as a winged eyeliner, or even just on top of my lid. So I did purchase this. It was around Christmas time and they were about $5. I think the regular price was like $20 or something it said, but these are glitter colors. Another palette that I purchased is by Sedona Lace because I'm absolutely loving their makeup brushes right now. I mean, the it's in the brush. I noticed that my makeup game has stepped up a lot. Um, although I used to freelance doing makeup I stopped a couple years ago so I really want to get back into it um, and I am absolutely loving their brushes it keeps my makeup on fleek like for real so another palette that I purchased was by Sedona Lace this is an older palette this is their 88 color palette so um, I will show you these colors so is their 88 color palette and um, just a lot of vibrant colors. It is their matte palette, but some of them do have like some kind of sparkles in them, which is absolutely great. I haven't tried this palette yet, but I'll definitely be doing tutorials with this palette as well. Another one is by Sedona Lace, and I did get this a while ago, and I just never used it. When I say a while ago, probably a few years ago, and I just never really used it. So this is their neutral palette. Um, and it has like two layers of makeup. I'm definitely going to be trying this palette as well. And this is from Sedona Lace. Okay, well that's all for me. So definitely stay tuned for more makeup tutorials for me. Also, let me know what other lines you guys like as well. I am, I did place an order for more makeup and I am going to be going to Ulta very soon. Um, to try more makeup lines as well, like the Urban Decay, the Smashbox. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted because makeup is something that I love and enjoy doing and love collecting. So stay tuned for some surprise giveaways and more tutorials and reviews. If there's anything in particular that you would like to see, definitely leave me a comment below. I if you enjoy watching this video, definitely support by giving a thumbs up to this video, um, sharing it, and commenting below. 
that's all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.